What was the best relationship advice you ever got? Keep in mind that you are not fighting against your SO during conflicts. You and your SO are up against the issue. Never take each other for granted show appreciation often. Prioritize trust and build a strong foundation of it. Discuss life goals especially kids and financial habits before you get married. If one person wants six kids and the other wants to be childless that's not going to work. If one person has champagne tastes and spending habits but you as a couple have a boxed wine budget, then that is a problem. More than one marriage has been ended because one spouse is bad with money and refuses to live within their means. I love the quote I don't want you to save me, but you can hold my hand while I save myself. Support with respect is key. There is no reason to keep score. You are both on the same team. If one or both of you starts keeping score with things it is time to evaluate the state of the relationship and why this is occurring. On a related note, all problems can be solved, but not all problems are worth solving. Remember to laugh together and keep the romance alive. While in a relationship don't lose yourself as an individual. If the grass is greener on the other side, try watering yours. Be each other's biggest supporter and cheerleader. Practice active listening to understand each other better. Don't look for a relationship just for the sake of being in a relationship. That relationships are so hard or marriage takes so much work is terrible advice. Relationships take effort and maintenance and mindfulness, but it shouldn't be work. It's a garden, not a salt mine. If literally everything is an uphill struggle all the time, you're not compatible. Move on. All relationships are so hard, you'll teach as people is to stay in relationships that are bad for them. Get therapy and find healthy partners. And definitely don't have kids if your relationship is already OMG so hard. A partner is the cherry on top of a cake. The cake is your responsibility. Translation. A good partner can make you happier in life but can never make you happy. It is your own responsibility to have a happy and fulfilling life. The inverse is a little different. A bad partner can ruin your happiness. But it is your own responsibility to not let a bad cherry ruin your cake not let a bad partner ruin your happiness. Communication is the key. Don't post your relationship life on social media. Make time. You'll always have a million and one things that need your attention, but if you're going to be with someone, start a family with them, make time for them. My dad, who is still very much in love with my mom, who isn't really feeling it anymore because she's spent the last 35 years married to a workaholic farmer. Be each other's friend above everything. Never start imagining a life together before you even started. Get to know the person first. Build it up from there. It takes a hell of a partner to beat no partner at all. Vet carefully and with a clear head does this person add to your life? Is being with them an improvement over your regular, solo life? Or are they an effort to be around, to accommodate? Even head over heels in love people get on each other's nerves once in a while. It's not necessarily a sign of trouble, or that you're growing apart, or you or she isn't good or the right one. You're together almost all the time. It's a sign that you're human. Relationships in fiction are fictional. I had a co-worker who had a very happy marriage. I asked her how she chose her husband. She answered, he was the nicest man I ever met. That was an epiphany for me. I went on to marry the nicest man I ever met. We've been married over 30 years. I won the husband lottery. Your partner can't read your mind. Talk to them why you are upset or what is bothering you. Don't hold your negative thoughts inside, it will only make the situation more bitter. Have a goldfish's memory when it comes to arguments. The elephant's memory is the good stuff. 
Moreover, never keep score. A team, you are. If you take a Coke Zero out of the fridge, put another one back in. If you have to constantly push your partner for anything moving in, going out, doing trips, improving anything, getting engaged. It's not a partner it's a wheelbarrow. Do you want to live with a wheelbarrow? That made me laugh, but opened my eyes on lots of things. Choose each other every day. If you can't laugh at each other's embarrassing moments, are you even really a couple? Try to fix your issues or break up openly. Don't make the same mistakes as me. My first breakup was extremely slow, painful, and cold. It caused my ex to mentally degrade and end up attempting suicide, and haunting my life forever. Communication matters no matter how tired or selfish you are. Having kids will not solve the problem. To never fall in love with someone stay with someone because of their potential of becoming better. The potential is not guaranteed. This is in the context of my abusive relationship, I'm not referring to regular conflicts that can be resolved. Don't chase who's running. When you marry someone, you marry their whole family. I have always taken this to mean that you should learn about the family before you commit to the relationship. What you put up with, you end up with. Two pieces. One, if you aren't going to remember being upset over this, it's not worth arguing over now and two. There are peaks and valleys in relationships. Don't give up until it's only valleys. This wasn't something someone personally told me but, most recently I saw this quote on Reddit and it really stuck with me. You don't know the person you're with until something life-changing happens. Don't accept anything you wouldn't accept being done to a loved one. Find someone who lets you be vulnerable without judgment. Above all, just be you. Don't waste your time trying to be someone that you believe other people want you to be. Be content by yourself. If you want happiness, don't rely solely on your relationship. There will always be a period when you need to enjoy yourself by yourself. Find why a best friend and marry them. From my wife's granddad on our wedding day. Along with grandma, the most incredible, kind, humble, beautiful people you could wish to know. Don't marry the person you can see yourself living with. Marry the person you can't see yourself living without. The single most important decision you make in life will be the person you choose to enter into a long-term relationship with. It will make or break you if you choose the wrong person, ignore flags and base it on superficial merits. Choose wisely. Embrace each other's differences and celebrate individuality. Instead of repeating what's already been said, me ex left me and for a few weeks afterwards, my friends, mom, sister, etc. kept telling me why did she leave you? She's gonna realize she made a mistake and come back. My dad though, brought me aside and straight up told me she's not coming back. Let her go. So I did. I tried moving on with that mindset. X 200B. Lo and behold, she never did come back. Fast forward a few weeks and I met my now loving wife this was 10 years ago. Thanks dad. Don't sweat the small stuff choose your battles wisely. I hated it, but I was talking to my psychotherapist about trying to get myself straightened out to be in a relationship. She smiled and said the only way to learn to be in a relationship, is to be in a relationship. Relationships are like Wi-Fi. Sometimes they go down, but a simple rebooter HUD can fix it. Contempt is one of the largest causes of divorce. Going on 14 years married and knowing that one thing has helped so much. When you have the upper hand, don't use it. If you are trying to catch them, they don't like you. One single Reddit comment set off the process via which I began to let go of a long-term